Learn Excel from Mr. Excel Podcast, episode 2370. Print five rows per page. Hey, welcome back to the Mr. Excel Netcast. I'm Bill Jellin. Today, a great question by Show. Have you watched an old video where I showed how to add page breaks with VBA? And he says, hey, I need five lines per page from a 5,000 line report. No VBA. Oh my God, no VBA. All right, now, the quick answer I gave him was if your rows are all the same height, then the best thing to do is to change the margin. So I'll go into page break preview here, and you see we're getting like 38 rows plus the header. Uh, and so if we go into the margins, custom margins, and then kick the bottom margin way up, and I'm gonna try about 6.5, click OK, and we'll count one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, just one too many. Margins, custom margins. We'll go to 6.75, click OK. Four, not quite enough, but we're allowed to go in between. So instead of 6.75, I'll go with 6.55, click OK. And there is one, two, three, four, five. All right, now that's only going to work if all of your rows are the same height. And I have to guess uh, because Shoab is asking the question, we have some rows that are tall. Why else would you want to print five rows per page? And I know he said <laughs> no VBA, but boy, it would be super easy with a little bit of VBA here. So reset all the old page breaks, figure out where the last row is, go from the last row to seven, step minus five, so skipping every five, and then hpagebreaks.add before that cell. I uh, just click run here and we are done. Look at the page break, page break, page break. That's great. But show up says no VBA. Oh, show up. I am convinced that this trick used to work, but I went to my Excel MVP friends. They tried it all the way back to Excel 2003. It never worked. So what I've done here is I've added a formula that puts a one on the first row of every page. So it's doing the mod of row comma five, seeing if it's equal to a two, one, otherwise, quote, quote. Go to special formulas that are numbers. So I have only those cells selected. And then I go to break, insert page break, and it only inserts one. It doesn't insert them all. I swear this used to work. All right, so the last thing I did was insert a page break. So what I could do now, and I'm not suggesting you do this, is tab, that moves from A7 to A12, and then F4 is repeat last command. So you have 5,000 rows, you're gonna do this 998 more times. Tab, F4, tab, F4, tab, F4, tab. I'm ready to, uh, no, it's not gonna work. All right, so show up, here we go. This seems like a hassle, but this is what I'm gonna do. Table design, table styles, light, so no table style, and then table convert to range. Do you wanna convert the table to a normal range? Yes, I'm gonna to have to, because this trick requires it to be a normal range. Out here, I'm gonna put a dummy column with the number one, double click to copy that down. That gives me a numeric column on the right hand side. On the left side, insert a column, and I'm gonna say page, all right, now, equal row plus zero divided by five. That zero is gonna change, but I can never remember what the number is. We're just gonna copy this down a little bit. And my whole goal here is to get everything in the first five rows to have the same leading decimal. And this row, number seven, to be the first one to be 1.0. All right, so it looks like instead of row plus zero, I'm gonna say row minus two. Let's try that. Double click and copy that down. So these are all a zero with a decimal point after it. And to get rid of everything after the decimal point, we use the INT function like this. All right, so now all of those are on page zero and then five on page one, five on page two, five on page three. In my case, I have 116 pages. In your case, you'll have a thousand pages. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna say that the print range is only gonna be B through K. So page layout, print area, set print area. Uh, on page titles, make sure that one to one is the roast repeated top. All right, now check this out. That means that no one's gonna see column A or column L. You can even hide them after you do this trick. Data, subtotal, at each change in page, we're gonna use, it doesn't matter what function because no one's gonna see that sum the dummy column, and right here, page break between groups, the fast way to insert a thousand page breaks. All right, there we are, seeing we have zero total, one total, two total, that's okay, because that's not gonna print. So we'll hide that column, 
We'll hide that column. All right, certainly faster than pressing tab F4, tab F4 998 times. And when we look at print preview, there's the first five, next page, the next five, next page, the next five, that next page, the next five. And yeah, there's a blank row printing on each page, but who the heck cares? That's why we cleared the table format so there were no borders or anything like that. Well, without VBA, that's the best that I can come up with. If you like these videos, please down below, like, subscribe, and ring the bell. I want to thank Joe for sending that question in. I want to thank you for stopping by. We'll see you next time for another netcast. Mr. Excel.